So the question is why not to use a hybrid solution for consensus, specifically a hybrid between proof of work and proof of stake. And I mean, I think it's an okay strategy, uh, at least as okay as one or the other, but I wonder exactly uh, what you gain from that. Because there's um, some, some idea that say like the, uh, the proof of work miners have a certain voting strength and the proof of stake miners have a certain voting strength and there shouldn't be a conspiracy between the two to actually, you know, um, you know, like it creates some extra, say the proof of stake miners have some sovereignty to prevent the proof of work miners from doing things that are invalid. But um, in principle, proof of work, the ability to be the biggest proof of work miner represents the money that it takes to acquire all the hardware to do the proof of work mining. And uh, the proof of stake ownership basically comes down to who has the money to buy the stake on the network. And so I think, um, I, I can't think of a reason why those, those two, say the people with the most proof of work power and proof of stake power aren't gonna end up being the same people, essentially. So uh, it doesn't, in my view, really represent a way to prevent a conspiracy between differently motivated groups of people. I think the same group of people ends up with the voting power. So um, I can't think of uh, a very strong reason that it creates more security than either of those systems independently.